There was no way I could improve on the sculpture with the janitor watching me. It was a life-sized marble figure of a guy in robes. The sculptor had tried to give him a look of paternal authority and concern. To my mind, he looked just plain constipated. <laughs> I guess the water cooler was for the use of people lost in the corridors. <laughs> Maybe the face of the unaccountably happy domestic had made me unduly suspicious. I mean, I knew it was only my imagination, but the water tasted, well, peculiar. No. Uh. As I tugged the plug out of the socket, the polishing machine coughed, spluttered, and died. Mr. Shiny, what's wrong, pal? Can I get quickly get in the cupboard? Now he's moved. Hmm. Dr. Stobart at your service. Huh, ah, that was handy. Uh now which where's Jay? This way? Apparently not. Good afternoon, doctor. Oh, hi. Is this ward J2? Yes, sir. The patients are ready for your inspection, doctor. Uh, thank you, nurse. Well, who's first? Monsieur Croquet in bed two. What's his problem? He's been complaining of loss of consciousness. You'll need this, doctor. She gave me a long, narrow metal box and a stunning smile. Thanks. Hmm. Hi, I'm Dr. Stobart. <laughs> Hello, Doctor. The nurse told me you keep losing consciousness. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> I've had the problem as long as I can remember. It's a real out-of-body experience. <laughs> like death, but not so conclusive. I see. How long does it last? Just a fraction of a second, <laughs> and then I recover. I might not have been a doctor, but I was formulating a diagnosis all the same. This guy was nuts. <laughs> I know exactly what you mean. It's known in the medical field as blinking. Is it serious? Of course it isn't serious. It's perfectly natural. But just think, two seconds every minute, why? <laughs> That's almost half an hour every day. Two weeks out of every year spent in total darkness. I don't have time to listen to this baloney. Which bed is Marquet in? <laughs> He's round the corner, in solitary. What's the matter with him? I don't know, but the men who brought him in were wearing masks and rubber gloves. Hey, you're a doctor. <laughs> How come you don't know? We doctors don't know everything. Then how come you act like you do? Has Marquet had any visitors? Nah, <laughs> neither have I. That's the worst thing about being in hospital. You feel like the rest of the world has abandoned you. Well, you know how it is. Life goes on. Thanks for those comforting words. Do you recognize this red nose? Nah, I don't. Do you recognize the man in this photograph? Nah, Doctor. Who is it? A cold-blooded killer. One of your colleagues? <laughs> no. He really is a murderer. Oh, I've never seen him before. Does this gem mean anything to you? 
No, Doctor. Have you heard of a guy called Merlin? No, Doctor. Do you know what this tool is used for? Eye surgery. That's a dumb thing to say. It's not sharp enough. <laughs> Have you ever heard of the Club Alamut? Nah, I haven't. Do you know what this is? Is it self-raising flour? No. Do you know what this piece of equipment is called? No, I don't. I thought about giving him an electric shock, but I just couldn't do that to a sick guy. Have you any idea what this is? Please, take it away before I throw up. Well, goodbye and good luck. Thanks, Doc. It was a device used for measuring people's blood pressure. Hello again. Do you know what this... No. Uh, could you take a look at the client in bed number three now? His name is Eric Sopmarsh. What's his problem? He's delirious. He just now came out of theater. He's recovering from major surgery. I'll have him up and about before you can say, Lazarus, get out of your bed and walk. Hmm. Hello, anybody home? Who are you? My name is Dr. Stobart, and I'm here to steer you down the rocky road to recovery. Dr. Monroe said there was no cure for what I've got. Your problem is you stayed in bed too long. Are you sure you're a qualified doctor? <laughs> You better believe it. What can you tell me about Marquet? He's the man in the private room, isn't he? That room was mine before I was tossed out like a common squatter. Do you know what's wrong with Marquet? They won't even say what's wrong with me. Tell me, Doctor, what's your opinion? Uh, it's too early to say. But I've been here for three months. What's your impression of Nurse Grendel? She's a very efficient young woman. Efficient? You make her sound like a vacuum cleaner. I've no complaints. The woman in reception described Nurse Grendel as a monster. Well, that's simply not true. She's quite strict, but that's her job, isn't it? You've got to have discipline in a place like this. Do you recognize this red nose? Doesn't that belong to Boissy? No, I found it in a sewer. Uh, who's Boissy? He's a clown, you know. You wouldn't think so to look at him now, would you? Do you recognize the man in this photograph? No, Doctor. Uh, who is it? A cold-blooded killer. Really? He's a dead ringer for my bank manager. Of course, Mr. Soames hasn't got a scar, and he doesn't come from the Middle East. His hair's a lot grayer, too. <laughs> Otherwise, it's just like him. Remarkable. Does this gem mean anything to you? No, Doctor. Is this some kind of test? If it was, you would have failed. Have you heard of a guy called Merlin? No, Doctor. Do you know what this tool is used for? I'd rather not, Doctor. Ignorance is bliss, as they say. Have you ever heard of the Club Alamut? I'm not really a nightclub man, Doctor. A game of whist and a glass of ginger wine is about my limit. Do you know what this is? It looks like plaster. How did you know that? I'm a plasterer. <laughs> I'm going to take your blood pressure. Why? I'm a doctor. It's my job. I'm going to take your blood pressure. Why? I'm a doctor. Okay, he didn't I say. I thought about giving him an electric shock, but I just couldn't do that to a sick guy. Have you any idea what this is? No, doctor. I wouldn't even like to guess. See you later. Can I give him his... Uh... Hi. Me, I'm going to take. Why? I'm a doc. Okay. See you.
His temperature was normal, with little fluctuation either way. The graph showed a steady decline in his pulse rate and an increase in his blood pressure. It kind of shook me to see this guy's life reduced to a few jagged lines. Oh, well, you gotta set the charts when you're a doctor. The poor guy's temperature had been up and down like a white knuckle ride. No wonder he looked so sick. Right, BRB. Right, back. Doctor? What is it now, nurse? Number two again. He won't tell me what he wants. He said you'll only talk to a man. Do I have to? That guy's nuts. Doctor, I'm surprised at you. There's no <laughs> way to talk about our clients. Okay, okay, I'll see him. But I'm telling you, he's a hypochondriac. Hello again. I can't say anything. Well, goodbye and good luck. Thanks, Doc. Can I go over here? Doctor. What is it? You haven't taken my blood pressure. Seems fine to me. You're not doing it right. Of course I am. No, you're not. Dr. Monroe never did it like that. I can't take a satisfactory reading while you're excited like this. I'll come back later. Uh, he's not going to let me in here, is he? No, he's not. Oh, no, Doctor. What now? You didn't finish taking my blood pressure. Oh, for God's sake. So I'm going to have to get... Okay, let's try again. don't have the first idea what you're doing, do you? I'll come back when you've recovered your manners. Right, so I can't get in there. Next those dogs barking. Damn it. Can I talk to him now? I've got a doctor's thing on. Excuse me, sir. You must be the new boy. Uh, yeah, I must be. Well, uh, stop wandering about and make yourself useful. Bernie, uh, come here, boy. This is Benoit, my nephew. Can I trust you to look after him? Do your own babysitting, Gramps. Who do you think you are, anyhow? I am Felix Hagenmeyer. And may I say <laughs> what an honor it is to meet you in person, sir. You are on my medical wall of fame. Right up there with Pasteur and Leary. I look on it as a privilege, no, an honor, to look after your nephew, sir. He is fresh out of medical school. It will open his eyes to see a real doctor on the job. I'll bet. Show him around. Let him see some real suffering. Look what Nurse Grendel gave me, sir. 
Ah, yes, very good. I'm glad to see you are carrying it with you. It reassures the public to see the medical profession using traditional archaic tools. So long, Hagenmeyer. Hey, Benoit! There's no need to shout. What do you want? Here, take this pressure gauge. What the hell? <laughs> Thank you, sir. Uh, what do you want me to do with it? Well, uh, keep it safe until I think of something. Follow me, Benoit. I'm right behind you, sir. Ah. I wonder if I've got to use to get him to take his blood pressure, and then I can sneak into the other place.